Respiratory viruses cause illnesses like the common cold, influenza or the flu, and COVID-19 that affect your nose, throat, and lungs. Even though these illnesses are often mild, they can lead to serious health problems, including hospitalization, long-term complications, and even death, especially in older adults and people with conditions that increase their risk. These illnesses often cause similar symptoms, like a runny or stuffy nose, sore throat, cough, fever, tiredness, and muscle aches, which can make it hard to know what you have. They can even be mistaken for allergies, and some people may have more than one thing at the same time. There are some symptoms that are more common with certain illnesses and may help you tell them apart. RSV often causes wheezing or trouble breathing. Loss of taste or smell is more common with COVID-19. The flu often starts suddenly with fever and chills, while a cold tends to come on more slowly. However, not everyone will have the same symptoms, and they can be different from person to person. While most people get better after these infections, they can cause serious complications. Each year, respiratory infections send hundreds of thousands of people to the hospital and cause tens of thousands of deaths from related pneumonia, sepsis, organ failure, heart attack, and more. For example, heart attacks are six times more likely within one week of having the flu, even in people without a history of heart disease. Older adults are more likely to experience complications because our immune systems get weaker as we age. Many of us also have conditions that affect the immune system, heart disease, lung disease, or diabetes, which increases the risk of complications. The best way to know what's causing your symptoms and how to treat them is through testing. Some tests, like those for COVID-19 and flu, are available at your local pharmacy, and you can take them at home. Others, like RSV, are only available from your healthcare professional or clinic. Vaccines are the best way to help avoid getting sick in the first place. Even if you do get sick, vaccines make you less likely to end up in the hospital and face serious complications. Vaccines are safe and effective and are rigorously tested to help protect you and the people around you. While there isn't a vaccine for the common cold, there are currently vaccines for the flu, RSV, and COVID-19. The flu and COVID vaccines are recommended for most people every year because they are updated annually to protect against the latest strains of the viruses. There are specific flu vaccines available for people 65 and older that give an extra boost to their immune systems. The RSV vaccine is a one-time shot. It is recommended for adults ages 75 and older and for people ages 50 and older with certain health conditions that put them at higher risk. There is also a vaccine for pneumonia. While it won't stop viruses, it can help prevent dangerous bacterial pneumonia that can follow these illnesses. Talk to your doctor about what vaccines you need and when to get them. While these viruses can spread all year long, they tend to peak during the colder months, so the best time to get these vaccines is in the fall if you can. You may be able to get more than one vaccine at the same visit. These viruses spread easily from person to person, especially through coughs, sneezes, and touching shared surfaces. This means it's also important to wash your hands, cover your coughs and sneezes, disinfect surfaces that people frequently touch, and stay home or wear a mask when you're sick. Some viruses can be managed with rest, fluids, and over-the-counter medicine. Others, like flu and COVID-19, may require antiviral treatment. Antivirals can help you feel better faster, not feel as sick, and reduce your risk of complications. These medicines work best when started early, so reach out to a healthcare professional as soon as symptoms start, especially if you are a person at increased risk of developing a more serious infection. If breathing becomes difficult, your fever is very high, or your symptoms become severe, it's important to seek medical help right away. Remember, avoiding these illnesses also means staying healthy, not missing work or time with your family, and keeping to your daily routines. Talk to your healthcare provider about which vaccines you need and visit agingresearch.org slash our best shot to learn more about how to stay protected.